In this video, we're going to take you through Zengo, a simple and secure Web3 wallet. For more information on Zengo, please check out everybithelps.io. And we're going to take you through a full beginner's guide today from creating and installing the wallet, securing it, sending, receiving, buying, trading, and earning up to 8% interest on your crypto. And there'll be a timeline in the summary below for those of you that just want to jump to specific parts of this tutorial. First up, a little bit about Zengo. Trusted by 500,000 users, with Zengo you can buy, trade and earn up to 8% interest on your crypto and you can even connect securely to NFT and DeFi dApps using Zengo's ClearSign Web3 firewall. Zengo state that they're the most secure crypto wallet in Web3, which they do by being the first on-chain crypto wallet with no private key or seed phrase. So instead of having the vulnerability of a private key, which you can obviously lose or get stolen, Zengo uses an advanced type of cryptography called MPC. Now MPC is not new technology, it's actually been around for a while, but until now it's only been used by billion dollar institutions and companies like Fireblocks to custody serious sums of money. And Zengo is the first company to bring this advanced security tech to you and I. And previously, you had two choices. Either keep your assets on a centralized exchange where you've got less control over your crypto, or you could secure it in a wallet where you'd need to safely store your private keys. However, with Zengo, you have the best of both worlds. Full control of your crypto, but with no private key vulnerability. This is because it's keyless, meaning that there's no private key held by Zengo or you because it never gets created. So let's jump in and take a look. Zengo is available as a mobile app to download via the App Store or Google Play. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to be downloading Zengo onto my iPhone. And you'll then be prompted to enter in your email address. However, there are no KYC or identity checks to start using the wallet. And you can also enter in a referral code to get $10 of Bitcoin when you buy your first $200 of crypto through Zengo. And I'll put our code in the summary below for that. Once you've entered in your email address and your referral code, you'll be prompted to confirm your email address using a link. You can then secure your account with your Face ID technology. Once that's all set up, you may then be asked how you want to get started. Now I applied the 10 US dollar referral code, so it's asking if I'd like to claim that, buy crypto or simply explore the app. But before we take a look around and start putting any crypto into this wallet, let's secure it. So if we head across to the account tab in the bottom right of the app, you'll then be prompted to secure your wallet. And you do this creating a recovery kit so that if you switch devices, you can restore your wallet without using private keys. So let's go. And just be aware here that Zengo will need to connect to your iCloud drive. If you don't have this switched on, it will give you some instructions and take you through the appropriate screens. You'll then need to create an encrypted 3D face scan. And this is to identify you. As they say here, this is anonymous. And you just need to make sure that your face is evenly lit and that you remove any hats or sunglasses. Then allow Zengo to access the camera and simply follow the instructions of framing your face. Once that's done, the recovery file will be stored in your personal iCloud drive which you'll need if, for example, you'll switch your devices. Just note though that this file by itself is useless. So even if a hacker was able to get access to this file, they wouldn't be able to do anything with it on its own. When the recovery has been created, you'll be able to test your face scan, or you can also add a backup face scan, which essentially allows you to add a trusted family member or friend to restore your wallet just in case. Just be aware though, that this will only work on your devices. You can also sync your recovery file to Google Drive or Dropbox. And all this just takes away the hassle of writing down and storing private keys and it helps to simplify things. So now that we've secured our wallet, let's take a look at what we can do with it. And at the top of the screen, I can connect to apps, which I'm going to show you a little bit later, or I can connect to their live support, where their response time is currently showing up as a couple of minutes. Underneath that, you then have your overall balance, an option to claim your cashback reward if you've not already done so. And underneath is your wallet. By default, you have wallets for Bitcoin, Ethereum and USDC, showing you the current price for that asset and the change. 
It will then show your active balance for that crypto in both the currency and your fiat or traditional currency. If you'd like to add more assets to the list, choose Add Asset at the top. And you can choose the crypto that you want from the list, which will essentially show or hide. And Zengo supports over 70 crypto assets, so there is a wide range to choose from here. And there's even more coming soon. When you click onto the asset from the list, this is where you're going to find your wallet address for the specific crypto that you've selected. And you can copy this or scan the QR code, which I'm going to take you through shortly. You can then view a chart for either your wallet, which will track the performance of your assets over specific periods of time, or you can track the market price. There's history for any transactions and options to buy or other actions. So how do you get crypto into this wallet? First of all, if you don't already have any crypto to get started with, you can buy it directly from within Zengo. They do this using popular third-party providers, depending on your location. For me, that is with MoonPay. And you simply enter in the amount of crypto that you want to buy, with the minimum transaction in GBP being £60. But just don't forget that to get that $10 of free Bitcoin, you will need to buy $200 or more. And it will then show you the amount of crypto that you're going to get for that money. Just be aware here, though, that this won't be the cheapest way to buy your crypto, as you are dictated to by the rate defined by MoonPay, and the fees can be a little bit high. For example, with a bank transfer, you're paying a processing fee of 1.99%, or 5.99% with credit or debit cards. Plus, there'll also be a spread and network fees, and possibly also local currency conversion too. But it is a convenient way to get hold of some crypto if you don't already have any. However, I do, so I'm going to send mine across to my Zengo wallet. So if I want to send Bitcoin to my wallet, I'll need my Bitcoin receive address to send my Bitcoin to. And this can be found under my BTC address. If you're not already on the wallet tab as I am, you can reach your wallet address by going to the actions tab at the bottom of the screen and choosing to receive. Alternatively, from the main menu, you can also slide the BTC wallet to the left and the right and then your send and receive will also show up in this way too. You'll then be shown your wallet address and a QR code, and you can copy the address from here or share the address too, or you can also scan the QR code using a mobile device. Just note here that if you are sending Bitcoin, that you have selected a Bitcoin address. If you're sending Ethereum, you'll need to copy your Ethereum address and so on. This is really important, as with cryptocurrencies, transactions are non-retractable. So if you make a mistake, you do risk losing your crypto. But Zengo has already thought of that, because if you're doing something that you're not too sure of, don't forget that you can ask their 24 by 7 support. And it may also be worth sending a smaller test amount first before you send across all of your crypto. Then once you've sent across your crypto to the address, your wallet balance will increase and show under your wallet. So what else can we do? Well, if we head back to the Actions tab at the bottom of the screen... We've now received our crypto from another wallet or exchange, or alternatively, you may have already bought your crypto. However, you can also sell your crypto back to a bank account if you want to effectively cash out, and the cash will then hit your bank account in a few days. You can only do this with Bitcoin for now, but more assets are coming soon. Again, they use third-party provider MoonPay, and there will also be processing fees, minimum amounts, and network fees, but this is a straightforward way to cash out of your crypto. If you're not yet ready to sell your crypto, you can also earn from it or trade it. Let's take a look at earn first. Within earn, you can earn interest and daily rewards. Plus, you can also deposit and withdraw at any time. Currently with Bitcoin, you can earn 3% APY. Ethereum is 4% and stablecoins like USDT or DAI are 8%. But these rates will change and are defined by their provider Nexo. So I currently have Bitcoin. But if I wanted to get the highest rates, I'm going to need to have some stable coins, which I can swap for using their trade feature, which you'll find under the Actions tab again. And this allows you to trade from one cryptocurrency to another using Changely. Then choose the amount that you'd like to swap from and to, and any minimum amounts will also display underneath. For DAI, that's around £78. Once you go ahead with the swap, the order will be filled and sent to your wallet within 5 to 30 minutes. And you can then head back to Earn, choose Die, and there'll be some minimum and maximum amounts that you're depositing defined by Nexo. Plus, you're also going to need some ETH in your wallet to pay for the blockchain network fees. Then you simply confirm when you're ready, 
and you'll start earning daily interest roughly 24 hours after your first deposit. As I said, you can also withdraw your funds at any time. Now, if we head back to actions again, you can also send from your wallet. So if you want to send your crypto to another wallet, exchange or crypto platform, you'll need their receive, deposit or wallet address. And when sending your crypto to an address, just make sure that you are sending the exact same address that you copied. As, as I said earlier, crypto transactions are non-retractable. So it's worth double checking everything or sending smaller test amounts first to minimize your risk. And again here, you will need some ease to pay for the transaction fees when sending your crypto out of your wallet. And these are the fees that are paid to the miners for completing your transaction on the network. Then the final option under Actions is to connect. And this is a way to access popular Web3 apps using Zengo and Wallet Connect. Currently, Zengo supports apps that run on Ethereum only. So if you want to connect to dApps like Uniswap, for example, you head across to their website from your desktop. Choose to Connect Wallet. And then select Wallet Connect. And you can choose to connect and allow the wallet connection. And your wallet will then automatically connect to the app with any available balances showing as you can see with DAI here. And this action can also be performed from your home tab by choosing the connect icon in the top right. Under your history will be any transactions. Then finally, we'll take a look at the account tab, which is where we initially started and set up our security. And you can check out some of their promotions and settings, such as changing your local currency, language, and Zengo is the only wallet where you can also personalize your background. And it's worth being aware that Zengo will be very soon launching backgrounds and collaborations with NFT communities. So you might even see yours here soon. If you want to collaborate with them and add your own NFT community background, then let me know and I can connect you to their team. Or you can DM them on Twitter at Zengo. Plus you have other ways here to connect to their help centre, check out their fees and limits or rate them. But that completes how to get started with the Zengo wallet. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to our website at everybithelps.io for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.